Thor has some built-in effects, which are really nice. You can play around with. Um, our sound has been generated here in the oscillator section, passed through the mixer and the filters. Uh, next, it gets to the LFO section. Now, these LFOs uh, are assignable in the matrix down here. You can see that this patch has a lot of assignments already going on. Um, basically, you can assign any source to in Thor from the source column to control any destination. Um, and you have variable amounts that you can dial in here as well. And that's a bit of a topic in itself, but essentially that can be used to make certain parameters control other parameters. So you might, for example, want uh, an LFO to modulate the cutoff filter of a synth sound. Uh, and you might use something like that to make a dubstep patch, for example. Once the sound has been generally messed about with, it gets to the amp section, and this controls the uh, overall gain of it. It's then passed to an effects section, which is nice, uh, because it enables you to uh, just really add a bit of sparkle to your sound. So there's delay and chorus, and they're both configurable. Uh, the delay has a tempo sync on it, which is nice, because that means that your delays will always stay in time with your project. Down at the bottom, uh, there's a little sequencer section. This is a, a little bit like the Redrums pattern sequencer um, in the sense that it can sequence notes from within the synth itself without you having to put anything into the sequencer. So if you set its mode, let's say we want it to repeat, go round and round. I'm going to turn the synth down a little bit because it's going to get a little bit annoying otherwise. Um, and I run the sequencer. Okay, now I can change its uh, resolution using the rate knob. It's set to sync with our project. These dials correspond to the 16 steps, and you can change what they affect using this edit menu, or edit dial here. So at the moment, it's set to control uh, the notes which are played back. So if I hit run and start to edit these, and then uh, you could change this so that they now control the velocity of the notes. Uh, or the gate length. Uh, the step duration. And you can also edit the octave range over which uh, these work when they're set to control notes. Uh, these little buttons can be used to turn steps on and off. And uh, you can see you get a value little value dial here to tell you exactly what you're dialing in. So that's a, a brief look at the Thor synth. There's a, a lot to uh, take in there, but um, it's one of those synths that you really have to play with by yourself a little bit to, uh, to really get the most out of it. But it's not as complicated as it looks. That's the main thing. Uh, let's have a look next at the Maelstrom synth. <laughs> 